already make sure you cop some tsl and monster merch where you already know we got the headbands the hoodies and the t-shirts you feel me support the brand just go to lamonster.merchforall.com and support your boy the link will be in the description what's good here it's your boy lamonster with another video as you guys can see from the title and the thumbnail today we have another fire rare legend build a build that you guys probably never seen but you definitely haven't seen it at legend Let's get the reveal. Look at that. Back to basket guard. Now, I've seen a back to basket big before, but I've never seen a back to basket guard, bro. So this build is sort of, when I read that, it's sort of reminded me of how the actual best NBA players really ISO. Like LeBron, he actually backed people down. Jordan, Kobe, like they actually do like nice post fadeaways. So I'm gonna try to replicate that in a video if it's possible. I don't know if it is. But if you are new to the series, this is episode six. You can check out all the other episodes on my channel for other rare legend builds. And we will continue this series based on the likes. If you guys continue to like and enjoy these videos, which y'all told me I do enjoy it, I'll keep bringing super rare builds that you've never seen, but at legend. So y'all let me know what y'all want, man. Um, But if you didn't know, we upgrade our players together. We're about to do everything upgraded together. But first off, shout out to Uncle Demi for giving me this build back to basket guard if you want to create this build you have to go to uncle demi's channel and look at how to create this if you end up liking it once you see the gameplay and then shout out to my boy flow for letting me use his legend account i will be legend soon so to get into the build as you guys can see is a point guard six foot six 200 pounds back to basket guard so let's get into these attributes this is what y'all want to see first right i'm going to make sure i upgrade all my finishing because we want to see how how cheesy is it to really manipulate a guard you feel me on on, on a twos court maybe just one-on-one -on -one and just really back yo down and post yo up like like i'm really lebron or something like we're gonna see though uh i'm gonna make sure i get all the post fades hold on let me get post fade let me get post moves and by the way it's different versions of a back back to basket guard like i can make a version of this build with more playmaking i can get playmaking takeover so it's just like it's all preference and you can use different pie charts but I prefer this one because I really want to see what happens when I have Hall of Fame finishing. Because I have Hall of Fame finishing on this one. So, I really wanted to see. Um, We're going to use these last couple points on that. We got one point left. Let's see. We don't need pass accuracy. That's not okay. We don't need standing dunk. I doubt I ever actually get a standing dunk, which I probably would. But I'm going to go ahead and get me a midi just in case I need to pull a midi. I think that's better. Hold on. Let's take rebounding now just a little bit. Let me get them two points for that. Add that to the mid range. All right, so this is the attributes we going with. We gonna rock with this. This is like the perfect setup. This is just the starter kit for 85 overall. If you do make this build, y'all about to see the results of how it's gonna be. Now, let's jump into the badges. Now, normally when we come to this category of badges, I pick the same things over and over. But now we picking something different. I'm going with Hall of Fame back down Punisher, bruh. This badge is about to have people like really pushed in the paint. Now, I'm also thinking I should go with deep hooks. I'm not really sure how well a deep hook is going to work for me, but since it's a part of posting people up, I might have to just, like, get stuff not on Hall of Fame. I might go silver. I might have to do this because I want to drop stuff. All right, I think this better. Let me make sure I ain't missing anything that helps me. Okay, so just off rip for me, just, you feel me, off the rip testing, I think we're going to test this. But think, think about it. This is only with 10 upgrades. You're going to have 24 total, so... I will have all of these Hall of Fame, bruh. This will be Hall of Fame. That will be Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame. Like, all of this is going to be Hall of Fame with this build fully maxed out, bruh. Y'all already know. Whichever build y'all want to see at 99.9 .9 when I hit Legend, I'm going to let you guys vote. I might do that when we get to the gameplay, but that's another topic. So, I'm going to go with Deep Fades Gold because that will help me. You feel me? Y'all know that'll help. Uh, quick draw just in case I got to pull a jump shot. Um... Just in case I gotta shoot, bro. Remix in the gold, that's unnecessary. But I'm gonna do it. I might gotta shoot. I might gotta cook up before I could just, you feel me, post up. You never know. So we gonna, we gonna do that just in case. Now, you got 27 playmaking on this build. So you got Hall of Fame dunking and Hall of Fame playmaking, bro. Like this build at 99.9 .9 will actually be super fire in my opinion. But we gonna see. We gonna get the final judgment. Um, Quick first step is a must. You gotta get that. Now, what helps me in the paint? 
I see Dream Shake. What does it say? Raises chances that a defender bites when doing fake. Po Ooh, I need to get that one probably. Hold up. Make sure ain't nothing else. So nothing else benefits me here. Oh, there it is. Post spin technician. Oh my God. Proves the ability to post spin. On yeah, that's beautiful. We need that one. Uh, dang, I won't be able to OD dribble. I won't have handles for days. I'ma pick this over that though. I gotta just have it just in case I wanna dribble. Y'all know how I rock. So we going with that. Now the defense, you're gonna have 15 total. We'll just get the basic clamps, you feel me? Cause I might end up hopping on the twos court. So we'll just get the basic badges. Um, Nothing too crazy. Uh, We might have to dodge screen, so I'll just get pick dodger on. Let me see. Uh, make sure, uh, this this pretty much it. Instead of interceptor, I'll go chase down just in case I got a swat. Cause I am 6'6". Six, six. So yeah, this is a good setup. So, we done the build. We're about to get into some official legend back to basket guard gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. Let's go. So, we finally about to get into this gameplay, bro. First time ever seeing a back to basket guard at legend. Now, only my most loyal subscribers make it this far in the video. So, shout out to you guys. If you made it to the six minute mark, I really love you guys for actually watching the entire video. Because everybody likes the intro. Everybody just want to see the build and what it's looking like. Now, for the people who be commenting uh bros somebody commented you you didn't show us how to make the build like bro this is a collaboration you gotta go to my boy uncle demi's channel to see how to create it but i am legend so y'all about to see me for the first time ever actually take somebody off the court like i've never done this before like i'm actually about to take them off the court get ball first that's the power of being a legend so not only do we get all of those badge points but we get to just take people right off the spot vip now while we're waiting to get the spot, I want to let you guys have your opportunity to vote. Out of all of the rare builds that y'all seen in the series, you have Lockdown Defender, you have Handles in Passing, 3-Point Power Forward, the Rebounder, and then the Secondary Ball Handler. Out of all of those builds and including the Back to Basket Guard, which one of these builds do you guys want to see at 99.9? I'm gonna let y'all vote in the comment section. All you gotta do is just spam up the build names in the comment section. Which build do y'all wanna see at 99.9? Now, if you are watching the video and you do have this build at 99.9, you can be legend or you don't have to be legend, but I would prefer to be a legend. You can hit me up on Twitter and then you feel me, I'll just hop on your account and showcase it. But either way, whatever you guys vote, I'm gonna grind one of the builds out of all of these in the series to 99.9 and showcase the build. Y'all see me kicking them out the spot with that legend, that power of the legend. I'm really about to have that on my account, bro. Now, look at them, what they thinking in their head. Look at him, bro. He like, what the hell? What am I about to play against? Back to basket guard. Oh, he trash. I'm going to cook him. Look. And he hot right on the spot. I'm telling y'all, that's what he thinking. But little do he know. Little do he know, boy. Let's get right. But let's actually see what we're playing against. We're playing against Rod with an offensive threat. And then we got a glass cleaning lockdown. Okay, okay. Took them off the spot. So I'm sure they pretty angry, like, I'm sure they mad. I know I would be mad if I'm already on the court and then a legend just come take me off. Now y'all got the build. Look at the name, bruh. Like, this is what rare builds is all about. Like, I always tell y'all, rare builds aren't really necessarily the best builds at all times. But to have that build, like, imagine your IRLs want to pick you up. You feel me? And just, you know, they just want to run with you and you come in the lobby and you got to, yo, I got my back to basket guard. Huh? What, what can that do? What can you do? So in the first possession, I already sold, bruh. I didn't know which post move I wanted to do. So like, I sold. I pressed the wrong button. What I want to go for in this gameplay for the first one, I really just want to do the hook. Because I heard the hook was the most cheesiest, the most overpowered. So it's cool that I messed up. Don't worry. We're going to get the ball right back with defense, bruh. Let's get right. It's 0-0. Zero to zero. He hit me with a snatch bat like 2K18. And 2K let him make a white, bruh. Like, really, bruh? Welcome to 2K20. Now, he didn't get a green light. He didn't green it. So that lets me know I could really just sag off on him, bro. I don't really have to worry about him. So that's my game plan to get the ball. Let's get right, man. You feel me? We got Devo here. We got the stretchy. You feel me? 4-0. I know, like I told you, we made them angry. So you know he going to try to kill us. We took them off the spot. But let's get right, bro. 4-zip. He dribbling up. He speed boosting. Come on. We still play straps, bro. We still play straps. Good jump by me. Good jump by Deve. He missed. We didn't get the rebound. He forces up. We both jump. I got the board. That's why I increased my rebounding when y'all saw that. Now, hold on. We might got to just hold up. Before I start posting him up, like, let me let me just get some buckets because I'm going to show y'all, like, this build can still ISO even though I didn't build it to ISO. But there is a version of the back-to-basket guard 
that can ISO. Like, you could really OD it. But I'm going to do it regardless. I'm going to cook up regardless, bro. Like, imagine if I would have got Playmaking Takeover with this build. You guys can. If y'all don't want to do the post-move version of this build like I'm about to do, you can go ahead and get Playmaking Takeover and just get real dribbly. But let's attempt it, bro. Back down Punisher Hall of Fame. Look, he already reaching, bro. He already mad. Rod, did you think you was about to play against a back to basket guard and not get bullied look at this where's your strength hook him up hook him up we gonna call that the hook him up like that's cheese bro i green it my first try like it's really nothing he can do i'm not even doing i'm not even going to do the fancy ones because i can do the fancy post moves and like get all tricky up and under but no Give he gonna test the, the classic light. turn around hook him up green imagine me saying green for a hooky mob instead of a three that's kind of weird bro <laughs> y'all hope y'all really be liking me hopping on different builds and doing different point of views because y'all know this is not my play style but it is funny to do this like what can he do look he gotta reach now i told y'all before we even got on the court in the intro using this type of build and hopping on a twos court i'm gonna have an automatic mismatch at the one because i'm most likely playing a guard with no defense He's not going to be nowhere near being 6'6". Nobody makes 6'6 guards, so you already have a mismatch. And now look what we got. Granny! We already got slash and take. Now, this is the reason why I got slash and take is because I'm going to be paint mashing with the build. And I really want to be able to... Oh, he's reaching. Oh, he mad. But I really wanted to be able to bully. That's why I chose this over the playmaking takeover but like i said you can get playmaking takeover as well but on this type of build with hall of fame slashing bro like y'all see that it's unstoppable but if you don't if you don't get it if you don't comprehend it we gonna still show it you feel me four to ten look bully what are you gonna do with it oh whoa hold up i got a ball right back let, let me get a reset let me get a redo let me get a look bully look what the badge does i'm dominant regardless it's nothing he can do with this build bruh when y'all saw that build now y'all probably was like wait what what is this oh good defense rebound too little he too little i'm too dominant this is a six six oh and i made that now i ain't gonna lie i had a flashback moment thinking i was on my regular build and i thought i was about to dunk on him i almost forgot but even with making the mistake i still made it look at him he in game chat now bruh like it hurts it hurts he's still reaching that gotta be three fouls bro like he really fouling me every second bro like so as you guys can see they did manage to get the ball back they tried to do a game plan where the center is on me not trying to let me get my clips anymore which is smart but now i'm gonna take advantage i sag off i told y'all he can't get greens so what you gotta do when people do new game plans you gotta adjust you see that adjustment he's trying to stay under the basket so now i'm gonna dish it to my teammate bro like it's not rocket science to switch the style up this is that example i'm telling y'all when you use a red build look you gotta adjust the center wanted to sit under the basket so i just dotted deep on the wing two back-to-back -back greens 22 to 8 as you guys could see 14 points on his head now i did go to game chat and buddy was definitely mad i told him a banger is dropping make sure you sub now he don't know it's me when i told him to sub he thought it was a bluff he was just like man you a goofy you a clown you ain't no youtuber basically and now i know he probably see the video like dang i played joe but all ggs hope you guys enjoyed this banger hit that like button if you want me to continue this series legend on the way and we out of here yeah